Okay. Damn. So we're recording things off my laptop. But anyway, um, all right. So this is the government video that I was telling y'all about, uh, right? Like what I posted the other video. But anyway, yeah. Um, so I want to talk about uh, what the uh, Facebook's metaverse. That's that's what I want to talk about. All right. So I've been doing some research into this. Now, before I really get into this, the whole reason I'm doing this is because, um, well, really for two reasons. One, I mean, obviously, I want to let y'all know, you know, what's coming, you know, and what, what kind of agenda like Facebook is playing with this shit, you know. And there's other companies that uh, are helping like Facebook do this. And the second reason, um, uh, you know, being within the younger generation, uh, you know, at 25, I mean, my prime right now, but that's not the point. Uh, you know, being within the youth right now, um, all the people that are in their 20s, like um, the one, those of us that don't have kids yet, and the ones that I, you know, I guess you could say just had kids. Uh, Metaverse and other projects that are just like this. They like this is going to determine what our kids are going to be into in the future. All right. So let's get into it. All right. Facebook's Metaverse. Um, first off, the currency that is used is a uh, cryptocurrency. If you don't know what that is, it's, it's just like uh, like a type of digital currency that is pretty much not like not regulated by the government. It's not traceable. It's like, um, like my friend Ryan told me, uh, it's like when drug dealers or any kind of criminal fucking organization like cleans their money through some kind of you know company or whatever or business. It's like laundering money basically. Anyway, um, things like this have been around for years, like since the early two thousands, since the internet has really came into play. Um, like we talk about the different types of black markets, you know. Or uh, any sites that have a lot of, uh, I guess you could say, shady activity, you know, uh, like, uh, what is it, Craigslist, um, I'm sure there's other ones too, I mean, I don't, I don't really shop online like that, so I really don't know for sure, and then when I do shop online, I make sure I shop at credible places, but anyway, uh, most of these places are pretty fucked up, you know, these digital marketplaces, um, like I said, they're not regulated, this is where we get into black market crimes such as human trafficking um i don't know like stolen items i don't know it's just a lot of shit bro things that you really should just stay away from to even access things like this i think you have to like um you gotta have like a certain way of accessing it on your on your computer and take off certain like safety modes and shit like that but anyway uh <clears throat> metaverse is really just augmented reality and virtual reality put together Certain parts of the metaverse are augmented, certain parts are virtual. If you don't know what um, the VR and AR are, uh, augmented is kind of like Pokemon Go, where uh, basically, like you see me on the camera right now, there'll be like um, objects and games placed like on the camera. Like it'll look like it'll act it's actually in your living room, but it's not. You know, it's only on the camera, on that software, basically. And a virtual is obviously a, um, a world that is fully within, like, you know, um, a fictional space. Such as, like, you know, obviously, like, a video game. But anyway, um, if you look it up, um, people are being sexually assaulted in the metaverse. And it's not even out yet. Like, what the fuck? It's in beta right now. Um, it's literally just in beta testing right now. People are like limited number of people even have access to it, and people are already being assaulted and shit. Like, this, this is what I'm saying, like literally. So, um, like I've been telling y'all for like you know a year or two, look at all the future movies. Look at Alter Carbon. I mean, not movies. Well, movies and shows, but yeah, look at the Matrix. Look at Alter Carbon on Netflix. Um, A9. Um, oh, there's a game. I, Big game I told y'all about, Dios Sex, big fucking game about government shit. Uh, Watch Dogs, like, there's been hella movies, shows, and games telling us what's coming, all right? Oh, Cyberpunk, big fucking one. But uh, if you haven't listened yet, like, literally, start fucking listening. Look all this shit up, man. Like, literally, it's not a fucking joke. Um, the metaverse is, is such a dangerous idea. Like, literally, what they, what they really want it to be is, like, they they say it like it's some 
uh, like it's just going to be like a virtual world that connects everybody, basically, you know, for recreation. But that's not really what it is. The metaverse, if we're if we're going to say like exactly what it is as a whole, uh, it's kind of what somebody said. I forgot who it was, but uh, they were saying that it's going to make the Internet. Um, the fuck is that word? Obsolete. There we go. Yeah. It's gonna be everything. Like the internet is everything now. You know, streaming's a big thing and shit. Pretty much the metaverse is gonna take over all of that. It's gonna take over the search engines. It's gonna become the search uh, search engines and shit. When you log in, you'll log in with your avatar, or whatever. Instead of looking on Google and typing, you'll be able to literally um, put your gear on or do AR shit and uh, actually, you know, I don't know. How, I mean, I don't know how it's actually gonna be, but I know that you're gonna be able to use your avatar for everything. Meet people um, in real life, like. That's just how everything's gonna be. It's gonna be normal. They're trying to normalize all this shit, all right? But the bad thing is, uh, like I said, you got these crimes and things like that that are being committed, you know? Or not just that, but the psychological part of all this, all right? So, um, like I told you, people are getting sexually, like, assaulted. You get raped in the virtual world, it feels real, like, because you have a headset that, you know, it, it connects your mind to this fucking, you know, universe. And everything in there is going to seem very fucking real. Like, you play Call of Duty, anything that has guns, anything that has a large amount of violence is going to, um, you know, potentially give you PTSD, things like that. Or or not just PTSD, like trauma and shit. But um, if you are a person that, you know, like me, you know, you, you have bad thoughts and things like that, uh, things like that you try to suppress anyway. You know, those thoughts might come uh, start coming out, like, you know, within the game world, and you might try to do them in real life. You know, that's just how it goes. Like, different types of brainwashing and shit like that, you know? Their government is trying to normalize everything that is bad. And they, you know, but they want to act like that, you know, they want to act like the things they put in front of us are good, but they're really not. It's just another uh, way of normalizing things, you know? And, uh, like I've been telling y'all, um, when you any of y'all kids when you got teenagers things like that um or just little kids or fucking babies like in the near future they're going to be using the metaverse they won't be using what we have xboxes playstations they won't be using switches they won't be using pcs you know they're going to be using this as their go-to you know just like how our generation would be like oh mom i'll just look that up if i don't know it you know i'll use youtube it, this and that they were just we're going into another transition you know another fucking phase of the world everything's just evolving but it's not evolving in a good way it's gonna make all the phones and shops to leave people gonna be using the metaverse for everything like literally um you watch ghost in the show the movie with um scarlett johansson i think pretty sure i, I said her name right hopefully anyway but yeah um you see things like that like literally i wish i had more resources then i could just show clips of like videos and shit in my youtube like videos but anyway um yeah, like, this is not a fucking joke. It's really bad. Uh, the metaverse also is allowing people to, like, buy land now. Like, people are starting to live in this shit. Like, now, this is the, this is the, uh, this is not the first time that people have been, like, living within a game, though, okay? Uh, what is that game called? Um, damn, I forgot what the fuck it was called. This was a long time ago, back when I was a real little kid. But people were living in this game, though. I literally forgot what it was called. Maybe it was called Life or something like that. I don't fucking know. People were using their credit cards and shit to buy clothes for the avatars and shit. But, um, yeah, people were doing the same shit with GTA V. You know, they role-playing that shit, you know? But, um, yeah. Uh, everything is going to, like... Everything is going towards, like, just being digital. Going off a of digital currency. People are stopped... Like, they're not using dollars a lot. You know, cash, I mean. They're using Bitcoin. Um, and Ethereum, like all these different types of cryptocurrency. Um, you know, they're buying stocks and metaverse right now. Like, they're doing a lot of shit. I'm not going to lie. You know, everything is going towards uh, streaming and, and all of this digital currency, man. And I, like I told you, I'm just telling y'all because, like, this is what's coming, you know. The government's going to start. Man, it's just new, new fuck shit. That's what I'm saying, you know. New, new types of psychological warfare that the government is coming towards. And, um,. When you talk about the vaccine, you know, or the microchip, you know, that's what I fucking call it. But yeah, all these people that got the microchips, I'm, I'm proud of y'all because, you know, you literally are like, everything I'm talking about, all the bad shit is literally going with you. Like, literally, uh, your microchips and shit, you're, you're going to have the best fucking time of your life living in the new world order because, yeah, 
you'll be able to scan your fucking arm and shit, you know, get into, like, these, you know, different um, places and shit over the world, you know. Uh, you'll have access to all these things. Uh, you'll be able to jump into the metaverse, whatever the fuck you want. Um, the digital currency will be literally in your fucking body. I don't fucking know. I'm just saying, like, I'm not being disrespectful. I'm just saying, like, that's what it is. Like, that's the, you know, they set the foundation for that shit. Everybody that got that fucking microchip, you literally, you know, helped them set the foundation for, like, the new world order. Like, literally, it's all bullshit. The metaverse is just, like, a small piece of this shit, but... Back in like the seventies and shit, my mom always told me about that. You know, the the hippies. People thought they were just you know on drugs and shit, not of their fucking mind, having sex all the time. But no, the hippies were trying to warn you of technology and shit. Talking about Big Brother, you know things like that. Big Brother is the smart city plan. The smart cities, how every city is gonna have like free Wi Fi. They're gonna use facial recognition on cameras and shit to like spy on you and shit. Like shit's getting real. Technology is getting fucking insane. Um, AIs are getting smarter. Um. They got smart glasses now. The fucking glasses that play music and use facial recognition and shit. It's fucking crazy, bro. All this shit is fucking insane. But hey, this is what people wanted, right? That's why they got the fucking microchip and stuff like that, you know? But um, I'm probably, I'll do more videos about this. I mean, um, I've been, you know, I wasn't able to put a lot of information into this at the moment just because, like, I have looked it up a lot of things today, but. My head is just not in the right place to be doing this video. But, um, yeah, I just best believe I'm going to be making more videos about the metaverse and a bunch of other, like, bullshit with this digital currency. But, um, what, what's my video? Okay, 11 minutes, okay. But, yeah, uh, I guess that's it for now. Um, look up uh, NFTs. Um, I'm, I hope I pronounce this right. Non, non uh, fungible tokens yeah non-fungible tokens yeah that's what nfts stand for um that'll bring you into the different like currency that these marketplaces use um it'll also bring you into like what the metaverse is going to run off of i looked up a couple marketplaces too look up open c i think that's what it's called o-p-e-n-s-e-a yeah i think it's called open c look up that um that's one of the marketplaces one of the biggest ones like it's getting crazy y'all like just you gotta be on point like technology is getting ridiculous the government is using all this shit to spy on us like it's getting fucking crazy oh man uh, but all right y'all